This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a paint thickness indicator is useful in industries like automotive, aerospace, marine and construction where precise coating thickness is critical for quality control and performance. It measures the thickness of paint or coatings on a metal surface. We can use this property for example when buying a car where you can check if the car has putty hidden under the paint. In the following I will present you a very simple way to make such a device using a Arduino microcontroller board. The indicator will show the relative thickness of the measured paint layer in relation to the spot with the original layer. The device also detects uh, whether the uh, surface is steel or aluminum. As I mentioned before the device is very simple to make and consists of only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board. Next LCD display 128 on 64 dots with ST7565 driver chip. Uh, three resistors, capacitors and diode. Two buttons. Specifically I use a capacitive touch buttons. But you can use standard mechanical buttons without any change in the code. And sensor coil. This is a coil taken from an old electromagnetic, electromagnetic relay. Uh, in this particular case with a ohmic resistance of about 500 ohms. But any coil with similar characteristics can be used. The measurement is performed in such a way that first a rectangular sig signal is generated at the D2 output of Arduino uh, uh, which is then fit to a voltage divider composed of a constant resistor and inductive reactance with, which in this case is a relay coil. Bringing the coils closer to the metal object changes its inductive reactance thereby changing the voltage at the output of the divider. This voltage after diode rectification is measured by the Arduino input uh, by the Arduino analog input A1. The procedure for measuring the relative thickness of paint is as follows. First put the coil to a place uh, on the surface where you show that the paint is original. Press the calibration button. Now this value is taken as a reference against which the thickness of the suspicious area will be measured. Uh, now we need to place the coil on the suspicious place, here or here or here. And at the end place, press the measurement button. Let's see how the device functioning. Immediately after switching on, the red screen appears on the display with value 0. During the measurement I will use pieces of metal on which I will simulate paint and putty of different thicknesses because at the moment I do not have the conditions to make the measurements on a real car. This is the thickness of the factory paint and this of paint plus putty with a thickness from 0.5 one, two and about three millimeters. First the surface is iron.
As you can see the value of the screen increased according to the thickness of the applied layer of the metal. Now I will repeat the procedure but on aluminum surface. As you can see the device perfectly detects the type of surface, iron or aluminum, and for the thickness of the paint it shows a relative number that does not correspond to the real thickness in a given measurement unit, but still gives an idea of the thickness of the deposit. With small adjustment in the code we can change the ratio between the actual thickness, thickness uh, and the displayed relative number which would also increase the accuracy. And finally a short conclusion, although relatively simple to make, this is a very useful device, especially when buying a car to check suspicious areas where auto party has been applied under the paint. The device is embedded in a suitable box made of PVC and lined with a colored self that has a wallpaper. And now let's see how the device is made. 